Hey, I'm Hunt, and this is Hunt on LSU, your channel for LSU Fighting Tiger football talk. Enjoy the video. We want you to leave a comment below, hit that like button, and subscribe right below the video. Enjoy. News coming out earlier today that uh, LSU linebacker slash Ed's Jackson Howard plans to enter the transfer portal when that window opens following spring football. Uh, Howard, uh, a redshirt freshman on the team, um, he did not play last year as a true freshman. Well, he did play. He played in uh, five games as a true freshman. Um, saw action on some special teams and a little bit as a backup. Just two tackles and a hurry. Uh, that hurry came over Wisconsin in the ReliQuest Bowl. Uh, the other tackle came against Grambling. Played against Florida State, Mississippi State, and Texas A&M. You can keep your uh, your redshirt season if you play in four games. The bowl game does not count. Remember, they uh, they put that rule in place a couple of years ago as people started to act, uh, opt out of bowl games and rosters were getting a little bit thin. And you're trying to create some sort of incentive for teams to play in a bowl game. Uh, and they said, look, we'll, we'll let you play without having to compromise redshirts. And so Jackson Howard did take that uh, take that opportunity to play in the bowl game. A 6'4", 245 pounds, um, was a uh, highly thought of recruit coming out of high school, the number one player in the state of Minnesota. I realize that's not the most fruitful uh, recruiting grounds in the country, but um, was a four-star on the on-three composite, number nine in his position nationally by rivals. Um, also played some tight end. His dad played football at Stanford and was an all-Pac-10 player um, and was the top defensive lineman in the Pac-12 Pac-10 at that time uh, in 1999. He was a draft pick of the Minnesota Vikings and played uh, one year in the NFL. Now Jackson's a guy who's very, very measurable. Um, he's a guy that has long arms, really good size, and you never really got to see what he could be. And every situation is different when you talk about players transferring. Some players transfer because they're too far from home. Some players transfer because their girlfriend goes to college somewhere else. Some players transfer because mom is sick. Some players transfer because they're not going to play. Some players transfer because there's more NIL dollars around. Like there's, And I don't know why Jackson Howard has decided to move on. But just common sense and just using generalizations here, when you recruit nationally and you recruit a player from Crystal, Minnesota to come down to Baton Rouge, Louisiana, it to me feels like it's probably a little bit easier to step away, right? It's not home. And that may not be the case for Jackson Howard. He may see another opportunity somewhere else, may know where he wants to go. I have no idea. Never spoken to Jackson Howard one day in my entire life. But Crystal, Minnesota is not close to Baton Rouge. And if he ends up at Minnesota or Wisconsin or somewhere up there in the northern part of the Midwest, well, that makes a lot of sense headed back home. I don't know how much Jackson Howard was going to play. I'll tell you this. I did a segment yesterday on LSU's defensive front and forgot to mention him. Now, that's probably because he's listed on LSU's website as a linebacker, and when I was sorting by position to go through and write down all the names to make sure I got them all, he was grouped in with the linebackers, and I didn't put him there. I don't know if the plan was to use him on the edge. I don't know if the plan was to use him as an outside linebacker, pass rusher. We didn't get to see Jackson Howard do enough here for me to determine what he could or couldn't do. But that's a position group that is looking for impact players. The depth's not quite where it needs to be, and I don't know that the talent is where it needs to be, but you're looking at a couple of guys with really good recruiting profiles and really good measurables in Quincy Wiggins and Jackson Howard that have moved on. I don't know how much he was doing this spring. I don't know what the case may be back at home or in school. I just know that Jackson Howard is planning to to move on. And at that position, I think any loss is a bit of a disappointment. We don't know what LSU is going to be able to do in the transfer portal. This is kind of still the wild, wild west a little bit. I feel like we've got a pretty good handle on what the December and January transfer portal and recruiting cycles are like. We've see, seen that now for a couple of years. I'm not sure the volume of players that are entering the transfer portal in the spring and the caliber of players that are entering the transfer portal in the spring. My gut tells me it's a lot of folks like Jackson Howard. I think the quarterbacks and the 
impact all conference dudes looking to go play at LSU or Georgia or USC. Those guys are making that leap after they've played a season, played well, and won a new opportunity in December and January. I think the spring is largely, in my opinion, and I'm generalizing here without knowing, I think the spring is going to be guys that went through spring drills and had a couple guys in front of them in line every time they went through the drills and every time they ran with the threes and went, you know, I might need to look elsewhere. That's my guess as to what April's going to look like. Maybe I'm wrong. Joe Burrow committed to LSU in the summer. It can happen, but um, I'm, that's just my guess. I couldn't tell you if Jackson Howard is going to be a first-team All-American or never play a, a meaningful down for a Power 5 team. But I think this, when I look at it from an LSU perspective, a little bit of a bummer because of a position of need, but we don't really know. And then when I look at it from a national perspective, it's like, is th- this is the kind of guy that's going to be in the transfer portal? Now, Barry Alexander, who we talked about yesterday, is a really high-profile guy. Now, more of that is because of his recruiting profile than his monster production on the field. But that's a that's a noteworthy name. I get the sense that a lot of people who are looking for playing time are going to be moving on in the spring. And the question is, like, are those guys who weren't maybe going to cut it where they were going to be able to cut it where they go? We'll just have to see what that looks like. Jackson Howard, if you just missed this, uh, just redshirted last year, 6'4", 245-pound linebacker slash defensive end has announced that he's going to enter the transfer portal at the conclusion of spring football. I'm sure he'll finish out the semester here uh, at LSU and then look at his options moving forward into the summer so that he can get into a, a summer situation in a fall camp and be ready to play next year. So as uh, more news starts to progress on that front, we will certainly let you know about that. Hey, thanks for watching Hunt on LSU. Before you get out of here, do us a couple of favors. Hit that like button, leave your comments below, and subscribe to the channel for all your fighting Tiger football talk. See you next time.